Hello, and welcome to Learn the Sword on TGN. My name is Dana Abbott, and I will be your guide. This is a weekly program with a new episode every Friday. This new lesson begins with Tame Shigiri, also known as the Test Cutting Series. Today, we are going to review Kata 2, which we learned a few episodes ago. We're going to start with basic wood, we're going to go to a steel Iaito, and then we're going to go to a Shinken. First, let's begin with the wooden bowken. One! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. Using a bowhead, the wooden sword gives you your basic footprint. Let's break this down a little bit more. And one, both hands up to your hips. Two, create your triangle with your right foot forward. Three, step in with your left hand, turning your sword 180 degrees downwards so you can begin the execution of the upward diagonal cut when you step with your right foot. And execute, step, and cut up. After that is completed, bring your hand back over your head, center it above your head, about a fist distance from your head, bring in your left hand, bring it up to your nose where your focal point is, and the handle, grasp the handle, and now cut the next cut, which is a migi kesagiri, which is a right diagonal downward cut. From here, shibori, and then we stand into it. And then your five steps back. One, two, three, four, five. Let's practice this at full speed. Hip, yeah. With a metal Iaito used for drawing, this is a dull metal sword, this is going to be used to review the kata. Kata 2 consists of an upward joho diagonal cut and a downward diagonal cut. Let's use this by the numbers. And one, two, create your triangle. Three, start stepping forward with your left foot. Turn the sword down this way so you can cut up at a better pattern. Stepping into it with the third step, you cut up and execute a joho giri. From here, you bring your hand over the top of your head, setting up for the next cut. Bring your left hand into your focal point and up to your handle. And now, cutting down for a migi kesa giri. After you finish the cut, from this area here, just a little chibuti, and then bring the sword in for noto. And then you pull the sword in and step into it. Let's practice this kata at full speed. Hit. With Shinken in hand, let's execute these cuts. But before we do, let's go back and look where we're going to be cutting. The first cut is, after I draw the sword, I'm going to be cutting up at an upward cut, and then bringing it around and coming down and making a downward diagonal cut. Remember too, when you're practicing Tamashigiri, a lot of times you practice the cut as before. Then you get to an object like this, and when you're trying to cut, you're moving into the target. 
Remember, you want to stand a little bit more of a, a stride stance when you practice with a tatami mat because if I try to come in here too tight like this, I'll be too close. But if I can move my legs back and forth, I can either cut right or to the left, which will offer me more to work with. I would like to personally thank you for viewing Learn the Sword on TGN TV.